In the aftermath of this year's catastrophic coral bleaching, scientists are trying to measure the impact on the Great Barrier Reef. Thousands of so-called citizen scientists are putting up putting up their hands to help. Members of the public are learning how to count fish and capture images of coral, feeding the information to those in charge of protecting the reef. This is no average day at the office. There's work to be done at Lady Elliot Island, the southernmost point of the Great Barrier Reef. I know a few of you are after those grazing herbivores, some of you are after the butterfly fish. These executives from some of the world's top companies, including Google, Qantas and BHP Billiton, are some of the citizen scientists preparing to help. More than 1,200 marine species live around Lady Elliot. But these new citizen scientists are looking for specific species like clams and butterfly fish. If they're under the surface, it's a sign the reef is healthy. The tiny island's marine landscape didn't disappoint. This dolphin enjoyed an early morning swim with budding scientists. <laughs> and turtles and fish were in abundance joined by visitors juggling clipboards and cameras. Well, I saw lots of trout, um, lots and lots of little Nemo fish. They were all together in little family, so I saw lots of them. I was counting sea slugs. And how did that go? Uh, pretty good. Found about 350. The results confirm the southern reaches of the reef have escaped the bleaching that's hit further north. Those who live and work with the reef every day say citizen science is invaluable. This park is longer than Japan, it's longer than Italy, 344,000 square kilometres. That's very hard for any government department to manage. So to get citizen science involved is a fantastic way to help. The workload doesn't stop on the boat. This guy is a surgeon fish, so he's one of your grazing yep. herbivores. The images and figures are uploaded, joining thousands of others already shared with reef scientists and managers. The people are not just coming out here having fun and pretending to be scientists. They're not wearing white lab coats. They're actually collecting important data. Budding scientists making their mark at a crucial time for the reef. Stephanie Smell, ABC News.